Newcastle on January 27th. Tickets on sale now on Ticketmaster. We'll look at the tail of the tape here. 28, eight years the younger is Todev. Height and reach far on the side there of Moel. 116 kilograms to 109. And the tip sport odds, the numbers that sit in favor of the boss, Moel. Let's get this on the way. This is our main event of the Mind evening. This. Todev set and ready in the blue corner. Moel running to the middle of the cage in the red corner. Off we go, me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett, calling the action. What a night it's been already. Let's see if Hatif, the aggression that he's been showing all week, follows over into the fight. Thus far, has come in flying forward, and look at the size of the man yeah, against cut, Todev. Cuts down from about 125. Oh, hit 116 for this. Oh, and coming in for the takedown, Todev with 100% takedown defense. Yeah, big moment this, great work from Todev. And he's on his bike and he's moving his feet. And that's the difference for Todev, but as a heavyweight, he moves very well and has speed in the hands. He needs. To, he doesn't have the confidence yet to throw them against Hatip Oy. because of that cannon of a right hand that he has. And again, you look at Todev, just the versatility of the weapons and also the strikes. So certainly Hatif has got to pick his moments to enter because you'll be looking for the uppercut, the knees potentially, to greet him on the way in. There he sees again, big right hand, looks to get the takedown again, testing Todev, Todev passes. He maintains his 100% takedown. But this is the thing with Moel, you're not just going to defend those two takedowns, Luke. We are here for 25 potential minutes, and there will be takedowns every couple of minutes coming towards Todev, so it's how long he can maintain that. Yeah, I'd like to see Todev to start getting off on his strikes and earn the respect of Moel, because if Moel just stalks him up against the fence and can enter whenever he wants, Almost feels inevitable that eventually he'll get one of them. But like you said, 25 minutes for heavyweights. It's a big ass, that right hand Oy. come up high. I'm not sure if that glanced him or not, but that was a, that would have been a big shot. Hands were down from Todev. Hands down indeed. Uh, he's got a 100% record as well of not being knocked out by his opponents. Two losses by decision, one by submission. But trying to find his opening here, trying to find that moment, flinching, fainting, trying to find a weakness. In Moel, nice left hand. Oh, nice there low it kick. is. That's this. what I expected a lot more of. Yeah, the uh, the kicking game. He's got a very high output with his kicks. Stalking well is Moel. His movement is great. Oh, comes up high with that left hook. Glancing shot as well. Whenever these two come together, you think it could be over. A lot of pressure coming from Moel early on, right? And it's actually contained pressure. We wondered if the emotions would see him sort of be angry in this first round and looked at... Beautiful, that, that calf kick. I want to see more of that from Todd Ever. I think that's one of his keys to victory, if he can take away that front leg. Oh, and Deep again, entry, and again, another, another, nowhere another, near. Another great take down defense. A little wag of the finger there. You can hear the corner of the UFD gym of, of Moel. I almost feel like for Moel, it's, it's not going to work for him looking to get the takedown up against the fence. He needs to try and get it out in the middle. But when you're pressing Todev against the fence, that you're so used to getting success there, I think it actually worked better for him if he can get a hold of him in the middle of the cage. Because Todev has got such good defense up against the fence. Get, oh. Nice spinning back fist attempt. He's opening up a little bit more now. Again, going to that low calf kick. We were talking in the commentary meeting, and Andre Novotny felt that that was the weapon that he should use a lot against Moel, that'll take some of the power out. And also he fires it so sweetly, so loose as uh, Todev flicks it out and causes a lot of damage. Now they're more in the center of the cage. Slowly gaining ground is Todev. There's that speed. Oh, and again mixing it up. Last minute, we're entering here. Very tense, hard to take your eyes off the action. Yeah, absolutely palpable, the tension in this arena. Todeb's got to close the distance to land the shot, but then he needs to be prepared for what's coming back because every time he's thrown, Hatif's happy to throw back with that big right hand. Again there, throws, but there's a good return. No, no free shots for Todeb. And this shows how well they've prepared for each other's style, right? They really understand how they're going to attack, what they've got to defend. I also think they're both very aware that it's 25 minutes. Yeah. 
Oui, oh. oui, la left hook lands for Todeb there. For the right hand that almost came over the top for uh, Hatif Moel. And he's moving right into that right hand as well, stepping left. Switches his arm now and steps to his right. Ten seconds in round number one. Again, where's that kicking game of Todeb? That's the, that, that's the distance I, I feel like he needs to stay at. Oof. Out of that boxing range and just chop away with that low kick, come up high. Moel, red corner, black shorts, Todev white shorts, blue corner. And again, the arena silences as they come together. The tension there. Todev actually ahead on the tip sport odds. Nice lead up oh. a shot from, from uh, Atif there. More urgency from Sw Atif. Yeah, switching it up and throwing that lead hand up a cut was nice. Something different. Under uh, Atif's right eye, there's a little welt there. One of those straight jabs has got through. Needs to catch on the after Hatip throws because once he throws, he brings the hands back a little bit slow and he, he doesn't reload to throw again. It's just one big bomb. After he throws that big bomb, needs to see Todev step out and step in and, and make him pay. After that right hand, he put so much into that right hand, especially the overhands. If he can make him miss with that and capitalize, I, I feel like that's the moment. Oh, Wee, right, that that's a stiff right. That landed well. Todd took it well, though. What a beard he has, right? That's a heavy right hand. And stepping right constantly, stepping into that power. Now switches. It's all about finding space for him, right? He can't get caught against the cage with a monster like Hatif Moel. Yeah, Hatif just dominating the space so well. Stalking his opponent so well. Staying just outside the danger zone. That's what I'd see the kicks. Feign the jab, throw the kick. Sometimes you've got to ask, well, but you potentially have to ask the question, oui. do you think Todev's looking to take it into rounds three, four, five? Because that's a dangerous game to play, right? <laughs> very, <laughs> very, very dangerous. I think at the moment, I feel like he's just struggling to find his range with Hatib. Oh, wait, that's the thing. Hatib's very good at when he gets hit, he throws. He always throws back. He always counters. No matter the situation, he's always throwing a big bomb back which makes you not want to throw, yeah. especially when a guy's 120 kilos. Just needs to earn the respect and come forward. He's just circling, circling, circling. Has been for, you know, nearly half, a round and a half now. Staying on his bike, as you said, but circling towards that power hand now, switches stances, switches directions, I should say. Again, on the run. Oh, that's when he needs to go, after that right hand's thrown. Really nice switching it up there from Hatif. Yeah, connected with the left hand there. Scrappy, not quite clean, but certainly touched the jaw there of uh, Todev. That is that counter. That's what Todev needs to do. He needs to counter well. Good body shot there from Hatif. If he's not going to go first, he needs to counter a little bit better. And he's, he's found his counter in timing now, every, every time Hatif throws. And Hatif not attempted to take down in this round. Given up on that game plan so far. We mean kick that, you see his face. <laughs> Still walking forward. Like you said, you phrased it well, dominating the space is Hatif Moel. Until I've gained a bit of respect. Just needs to make Moel take a step back. He does there. When he's on the back foot, he's got nothing. Needs to put him on the back. It's easier said than done, but needs to put him on the back foot. You get in there, Luke. Oh, no, I mean, we're, we're about the same size. <laughs> I should walk past him in the corridor. For, pff, he's not that big. <laughs> the way oh, beautiful right hand lands. Solid right, but look and at the ignites, response. Ignites Hatif. We saw it in the Kimball fight as well when Hatif got frustrated. That's when he turned it up. But that was a good good shot, and that was behind a double jab to close the distance. Beautiful right hand there. And one minute left in round number two. And that was the, that's been the most significant shot for me in this round. And the animation from Hatip will be noticed. Oh, coming Switches in for the takedown. The oh, this is the biggest chance he's got for the takedown. Good defense, controls the posture. I mean, wow. beautiful work. And it takes the back, takes the back as well here. When beautiful do you see work. that happen to Hatif Moel? And breaks away. That was great from Todd. Now he's got the center of the cage. Now he needs to contain this center. 
Doesn't want to get put on the back foot now. Now needs to put Hatip on the back foot. Needs to come forward. Too easy to, to, to go backwards. But yeah, his takedown defense there was extremely impressive. He got deep in on that single. He put pressure on the head. Yeah. Broke the posture down of Hatif and then... And the balance, and right? Then, yeah, and then got the back. Great work. But but didn't cap, like didn't capture that moment by taking the center of the cage and, and doing something impressive. So we deep up the middle, clever idea. Round two coming to an end here. Ooh. <laughs> Of November, tickets go on sale for January 27th. We return to the UK. We return to the UK and we go to Newcastle. Early takedown attempt as well, evaded beautifully by Todd. Todd seems to be waking up a bit more. And now, the, you know, almost a strong favorite in the eyes of the tip spot. Odds. Oh, that right hand just whisks past Todd, though. Oh, we. Yeah. Totally emotionless is Todd. <laughs> Definitely not Hatif. Hatif's the opposite. Come out, you know, angry. Yeah. Emotional. Throwing that right hand with real force. Oh, Wait, that was beautiful. Go to the body. Good idea. But circles defense. Circles away. And also cage awareness, right? Circles away from the cage so he doesn't get trapped there by Hatif. Technically excellent. Level change, you can hear that at the corner, the UFD corner, they want those level changes. Really oh, yeah. close there with the right hand. Yeah, I feel like for Hatif, a good way to use the level changes is to faint and come up high with the hands. If he could level change and punch to the body and then come up to the head, I think he'd have a lot of success with that because Todd Ebb is, is, is dropping both, oh. his, both his hands to stop these takedown attempts. Just ate a nice left hand there, kind of parried it a little bit with his, uh, his right hand to his cheek. Hatif really waking up now. Oh, yeah. Stiff jab from both men. Yeah, snap each other's heads back. And they want more from Atif. You can hear the corner there. They're animated. They're saying, let's go. There oh. he is. Going to the body. I like that. Left hand high. Big right shots. Hand. Big shots land there for Atif. But Atif ate a nice left hand as well as he came in. That stiffened him a little bit. Definitely opening up now in this third oh, round. Oh, yes. Teeth growing in confidence and landing shots. Increasing the output, the right hand connects. Oh, Wee. big shots. And then... Wee. Oh, spinning back fist. Lands as well. Wow. And, and another again. way. It's... Almost gets taken down. Went for that the... faint, that faint. See that change, level yeah. change? That faint could be the answer here. That could be the key to landing that big right hand. Fainting that level change and then using the hands. Jab, feint the level change, use the right. That's That would be my corner of advice for Hatif right now. Get him throwing a leg kick. What a fight this is heating up to beat. Already a lot of pressure from Hatif. Moel though, defended every single takedown, 100% takedown defense coming into this. He's managed to keep that. He I'm also has a 100% record about not being knocked out. He'll be looking to keep that as well. Yeah, I like Hatif at the moment working the body with that right hand. He keeps doing that, that faint down, go to the body. He's done that a few, nice right hand there from Todd. He's done that a few times, and then maybe he can faint and go to the head. Create a pattern, and then break that pattern. Todd's kind of slowed down now, I feel like, in this third round. Hasn't really found his range, hasn't landed well. Again, going to the body there, very so nice. Lovely long straight to the body, that as well. Moel's hands look great in this fight as well. He's obviously worked a lot on his striking. Yeah, you see his footwork disengaging a little bit now. Uh, you know, he's been very, really, really, <laughs> really throwing that left hand with Venom. He's, his footwork's been good, stalking's been good in the first few rounds. But see him crossing his feet sometimes now and being a bit wobbly. Carries so much of his weight in his upper body, so yeah. needs to have that solid base. Oui. Some blood coming now from the nose of Lazar Todev. But Lazar looks unfazed. And fresh. Still looks fresh in this. A couple of big breaths from a team. Oh, oui. nice low kick. <laughs> the team kind of looked at him like, did that hurt? Yeah. You kick me. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Wee, that double go. jab right hand, that's the shot. That has been a money combination, hasn't it? This round so far, though, is definitely for Hatip as we move into the last 30 seconds. He's opened up multiple times throwing that right hand to the body, to the head. Nice little uppercut. Fainted for the takedown as well. Then came upstairs. Todev just stepping outside that range. Cut on the eye, I think, of Hatip. Oh, nice left. Nice, solid left. Yeah, just a cut above the eye. Really, that one was solid, that jab. Oh, some big shots. Saw the sweat just drip. Or well, not drip. Spray off the head of Todd over there. Final dying seconds. Yeah, big cut. I'm not sure. Yeah, I would like to take a look at that. There's a fair bit of blood. As we get set again for our fourth round. Off we go. A little Ooh. extra breathing as well there. Another maybe 10, 15 seconds breath for these two heavyweights, which they will certainly be grateful for as we move into these fourth and fifth round, potentially fifth round. And we'll allow it. They're big men, aren't they? Yeah. Heavy guys. Little rest. Can't hurt nobody. Want to see an exciting fourth and fifth inside leg kick. Oh, there you go. Again, there will be questions. Why he hasn't utilized that a little bit more, Todd? He's so good with it. Even coming up to the body and throwing to the head with the kicks as well, because he's got them in his in his arsenal. He's actually the fifth fifth highest leg strikes in active uh, heavyweights. One every 50 seconds he averages in his fights, but not been the case tonight. I mean, it's a different thing when when if you mess up with a leg kick, you leave yourself in range, and you get hit with one of those big big hammers. That and comes from Hatif Moel. Yeah, or you get taken down because of it, and being on the bottom with Hatif Moel on top, that is uh, something no human being ever wants. Beautiful, though, there with that leg kick. Has definitely been the best weapon for him, just not really utilized it yeah, look that, at that much. Leg. Look at that he leg. He switched his stance because yeah. of it as well. See if Todev goes back to it, see if he recognizes the damage he's causing just with single shots to that lead leg. He looks good now in this fourth round. Picking his rhythm up again now, fainting. Maybe he took the third round off. You see it sometimes with some fighters. I said it's a dangerous game to play, but many people felt fourth and fifth round, Wee. if he got that far, would be far in favor of Todev. Oh, maybe he just stripped over there a little bit, crossing the legs as he runs. We stiff right hand. Somehow getting through. The chins on both these guys. And again, Moel, for me, extremely active in this fourth round compared to the first two. Oh, a nice left. Almost feel like he's felt Todd Evan. He's not afraid he's to, to get caught a little bit now. Because he's really slinging. He's really throwing the shots and throwing multiples. You can see that lead leg, though. Didn't do him justice there. He stepped forward to throw a kick himself, and his leg just wasn't yeah, below that, him. That's definitely bothering him and hurting. And like I said, he's very built upper body, so balance is so important in his lower body. Oh. I like how he's going low and high, though. Goes to the body, comes to the head. Goes to the body, comes to the head. Two minutes, 10 seconds left in the fourth round. So much heat before this fight between each other. Both based here in Germany. Dusseldorf for the man, the boss. Oui, nice Hatif right Moel. hand there. That's good right hand from Todev. Found a home for it, throwing it again. Oh, kind of just winged in that left hand. Didn't turn it over. One minute, 40 seconds now. Oh, and there's another right coming. It does feel like it's been Hatif kind of pushing the action, right? He's the one stepping into range, and it's the counters from uh, Todev. Yeah, I feel like Todev probably took the first two rounds. Moel definitely took the third, and he's taking this fourth one in my eyes at the moment, which would take us two and two going into the fifth. That's how we like it, right? <laughs> That's how we like it. I, mean, I, I feel like that's how I see it. I don't know how it's a oh, nice low kick. That one hurt. That you one can hurt. see it. Wee. Good block of that left hand. And Mo, now, you, look, you can see his, his balance is definitely affected. The movement hindered by those low calf kicks coming from Todd. Nice even there. Jab. That caught the eye. And you see blood going into the eye now. Todd. Wee, oh, that one again. hurt. That one really hurt. 
yeah. Todd have now really noticing it as well. So going to try and go to it. Go Switch to it, his pain. stances. There yeah, you go. He's in pain. Very significant now. Last 30 seconds of this fourth round. Not only does he bleed, but he hurts as well. <laughs> He feels pain. Oh, spinning back fist. The, the fourth one I think Todd ever's thrown in this fight. I'd like to see him switch up to a spinning, spinning body kick. Maybe I'm asking for a little bit too much. No. Final 10 seconds now. Oh, and again. Hey, oh, that and one again. Hurt. That was really low. That was right down to the ankle there from Todd He switches. Just realized in the corner of Moel is Rakic. Quality mixed martial artist. He is training over there at the UFD gym. Sparring partner for Hatif Moel. Yeah, big, big round that. End of that round for Todev. You can see now Moel doesn't want any of it. He doesn't want any of that kick. He's switching his dance, coming out southpaw. Switches because he's so blatantly an orthodox fighter. Yeah. But he, he's. He's really hurt. If he's switching his stance to that, he's really, really hurt. Let's see if Todev can chop down the mighty oak that is Hatif Moel with some more leg kicks. Or oh, faint the leg kicks and then go to the head. Faint the leg kicks, right hand to the head because he's so worried about it. He's, he's gonna, gonna really, you know, make a read on that. Really gonna react to it. Or go to the body. When he switches to the southpaw, go to the body with that kick because he's so un uncomfortable in southpaw. You can see it. Yeah. Completely unfamiliar. This Oi. unorthodox stance. Oof. Oi. Oh, there we go. Can't help but make that noise whenever oh, they clash the blood, together. The blood really pouring now. That connected. Yeah, it was a little. That opened up big. That blood pouring into the eye of Hatif Moel now. You'll see it as he turns to us. That is now dripping and hindering the eyesight of Moel. Yeah, but Moel. Smells blood, it's his own, and it's he's, he's, he's ignited him again. Every time he's taken damage, he's got more and more aggressive. Oh, you could right hand that. Oh, and Wait, again. again. That one landed on Todd. Laser and landed well, another right hand. Here comes Moel, chasing his man down. Oh, Wait, good shot. Wow, Moel looking for the finish here. He wants it. He needs it. This phone booth fighting here in round number five. Oh, he got caught. That a big cut as well. His eye is shutting, Luke. You can see it, the swelling. And swinging for the rafters. Oh, that orbital bone must be broken there. The eye closing, the right eye closing and bleeding of Hatif Moel. But this is what you want to see from fighters. You want to see them put it all on the line. Fifth round, heavyweight title of the world. And it's his opportunity and he's gone after it. Oof. Landed some good shots of his own, but that eye is awful. Yeah, that, Get that cage oh, girl back at, in here. Look, Let me look at something pretty again. <laughs> Way big oh, oh, hands. Look at the swelling, the hematoma there. He cannot see out that eye. We have half a round left, two minutes and 30 seconds to determine who's going to be our heavyweight champ. And right now you see he's covering that side and he's using that because it, the, his vision will be impeded. So by completely shutting off that right eye, he's trying to look and just focus with one. And I think Mark Goddard hasn't seen quite how badly it's closing on this side because he's on the other side from Moel. That is a it's nasty, a big nasty. Hematoma. Gets forward another big left hand. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a break in the action for this to get checked, but again, oh, another left hand. There's only two minutes left. Oh, coming in again for Labor a takedown. Laboured attempt, laboured attempt, and it gets dismissed. What a round for Todev, causing damage, piling on the pressure. Brought out the... He's not gone back to that leg kick once either, he's just boxing now. And winning these exchanges. Always the underdog, There's Todev. that head kick I expected a lot earlier. Always the underdog, that's right, Brian. But proving why he shouldn't be here in this fifth round. The fifth round, he still looks fresh, Todev. One minute, ten seconds left. Oh my goodness. Way oh. left hand lands. Moel showing such heart. Yeah, true deep. fighter, real fighter. Had the aggression, had, you know, uh, the weigh ins, a bit of a show, uh, you know, but he means it. He really means it. He's oh. in here to put it all on the line. It's impressive. I love watching this.
Matador-like escape there from Todd Evan again. A laboured entry. The pressure still coming. Heavyweight fighting at this output in round five. 40 seconds to go. Yeah, and you just can't imagine seeing a finish. These guys have been... Superhuman. Yeah, knocking bells out of each other, and, and, and you can't imagine anything's going to change. 30 seconds to go. Oh, he goes low for the takedown. And gets beat. Nice Superman punch from the athletic heavyweight. Really opening up Todd Evan this round. Final seconds. Final 10 seconds now. There you go. There's the clacker. Watch for Moel to leave it all in there. Here he comes. Swinging once again, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they have gone for five, 25 minutes for five rounds. That eye of Hatif Moel. I mean, no one knows how the judges have got this one scored. That last round for sure for Todd for sure. And the third round for my eyes, for sure. For my Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' court. 48, 47, 49, 46, and 49, 46, all for the winner. And the new heavyweight octagon champion, the boss, Hatev Moel! Our UK and Irish adventure continues with four more events on British soil coming next year. The most spectacular MMA show in Europe has to be experienced to be believed. Bringing you the best talent from the UK and Ireland as well as stars from Europe and beyond. Atmosphere, emotions and adrenaline all in one place. This is where Shamrock shines. First stop is Newcastle on January 27th and then Birmingham. Tickets on sale from November 20th.